Early detection of neovascular macular degeneration is critical to maintaining functional vision for patients. The faster we find it, the faster we can treat it, and the more likely the patient is to have an excellent visual result. If you sit on it, then we're gonna, by the time we see that patient, there's blood, there's fluid, there's scarring, and even if we're able to reverse some of the damage, can't get rid of scar tissue. So we wanna to get to those eyes before they develop the scarring, before they develop the damage, when we can keep good vision or restore vision when there's still potential to make them see better. The 4C technology, it is head and shoulders above anything else that we have. And while it isn't perfect, it's as close as we can get to picking up pathology before the patient himself even realizes something is going wrong. Up until recently, before 4C became available to our patients, the only way we'd be able to detect uh, that patient had an event, a new blood vessel, was if we happened to see that there were significant changes in the back of the eye on routine examination, or if the patient was lucky enough to figure out that he or she had new symptoms, which usually meant there's already advanced disease that needed to be treated. That's like the patient coming to the emergency room with crushing chest pain, and gee, you know that patient has a problem, you gotta treat that patient. But it's far preferable to pick up that cardiac patient before the crushing chest pain develops when we're able to figure out that there's a problem that needs to be addressed and before there's damage. It's the same thing here. Do you want to pick up the patient before there's damage to the retina or when the patient presents and when there's often irreversible damage? 4C allows us to pick up those patients before they've had that cardiac event, in this case being an ocular event, before there's been permanent and irreversible damage to the vision. I've seen a number of my patients who benefited from the 4C technology. Uh, Suzanne is a, a typical example of a patient whose vision is saved by using this uh, wonderful device. Suzanne was seen on several occasions in my office, probably a week or two before we received a diverse, uh, probably a week or two before we received a device alert. And we had done all the testing we needed to do, the dye test, the fluorescent angiogram, the OCT, which is the scan, the state-of-the-art technology looking for changes in the back of the eye that would indicate that the dry macular degeneration had indeed converted to the wet form that would require treatment. And we didn't find anything. So I told her, you can go home for another three, four, five months. I don't remember what it was. And lo and behold, about a week or two later, we got a phone call from the 4C testing center saying she had a device alert. I said, well, that's strange. She was just in the office. I can't imagine she had anything. Must be a false positive. But we told her to come on in and we did the testing and lo and behold, although she had no symptoms and her vision was about the same as it was before, it was clear as day that she had a major change and she now had a blood vessel that required treatment. And we were able to start treatment right away before her vision dropped and thank God she maintains outstanding vision as a result of being picked up early with the 4C monitoring device at home. The 4C technology has brought us into the 21st century. We're using modern, sophisticated computer techniques to detect very subtle changes that would not be picked up on the ANZA grid. I have far too many patients who have been monitoring the ANZA grid and they have missed significant disease because the ANZA grid can, can miss it in most of the cases. We've had an excellent experience implementing the 4C technology in, in the office. First of all, I explained to the patient what it is, the opportunity that this new technology affords to them in preserving excellent vision. Candidly, there are some patients who really don't care, and it's not for them. I don't try to talk anyone into any treatment. But for the ones who really get it and understand that this is a tool that they can use at home and not worry about having to lose their vision and maybe something's gonna happen in between visits to my office. This way they have some insurance policy every day as long as they do the test. I can't tell you the peace of mind it brings to them, to their families, as well as to us. 
and we showed them the device. We said, you know, you're not going to go and buy a brand new car without going for a test drive. Try out the device. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe it is. Test it out in the office. We have no pressure. They get a tutorial. They're able to use a device and they literally kick the tires. And most of the patients who try it said, I can do this. And they go ahead and they proceed with the, uh, with the getting it at home. And the staff at 4C has really been very, very accommodating. They're, sometimes things will happen. There's a problem technically, and they're available to the patients to help them troubleshoot. And uh, they also get website updates if they're interested in it, as do we. So everyone knows that someone is looking after them all the time. We review the data, and it's been very helpful for the patients who've taken advantage of this technology.